Finally, finna mount my tires on my 26s. My Ruches. Front is a 26 by 9 and the rear 26 by 12. I bring the wheels out once I go get the other tires because I ordered two more tires because these here are 295 30 26s. I actually got these for the rear because it's a 12 inch lip and the tire gonna have to stretch. And I think this tire here is like 10 inches. I should have brought my tape measure. It's it's in between nine and a half and ten inches. I'm not exactly sure. And my front wheel is a nine wheel, a nine inch wheel. So that means this tire here gonna look different than my back because my back is gonna have to stretch to fit that 12 inch wheel. So I had ordered some more tires. I ordered two more for the front. The only problem it is on these uh, four ways. This series here, the HS266, they don't make a 255 tire. And that's the tire that I went with, a 255. But they make it in, a, I think the HP108, HP they make a 255. It's just got a different tread mark, but it's the same brand. But I'd rather have a different tread mark than the wheel looking all kind of crazy. The front, too wide, and the back stretch so I want both of them to somewhat stretch to look somewhat the same so that's why I ordered two more tires but once I go pick these tires up from Walmart we'll get everything out and I'll show you the difference on all all of the tires yeah I had to go get some more mask and paper got a mask up this car from the paint but I didn't really pay that much for these tires I got a good deal on them. two for 265.28, got them from Walmart. Made it to Walmart, finna pull up over here, pick up my two tires, then we'll move from there. Here because they don't install 26 inches. Made it back to my storage. We'll get them off the truck. We'll take a look at them. We'll compare them to the 295s. Alright, now we can compare. You can see the difference on the height. stretch a little bit then you can see the 12 inch wheel with the 295 tire you can see the difference it's gonna have to stretch a little bit but just think if I put this let me put this 295 tire over here you can see how much bigger the tire is from the 9 inch wheel The tire be sticking out way past the lip and that just won't look right. Cause the back gonna be stretched. You can see the back over there. So that's why I went on and got them 255s. Even though they're a different tread. Same brand, different tread, but I'd rather have them that look somewhat alike, you know, for us to stretch. But uh Walmart, they don't install, I don't think they don't install nothing bigger than a 24. So I'll probably get these installed in a couple of days. I know a place that will install them for me. And once I get them installed, we're going to do a test fit. Even though I know the back going to be sticking out too far. 
But we still gonna test fit them. Give me something to do. One week later. It's look like I'm a tire shop now. So I got a tire here. I also got four here. Another one over here. These are the four ways that I showed y'all earlier. They had different tread patterns because I'm going with 295 on the back and 255 on the front. I went on and got some Lexanis because they had the same tread pattern and 295s and 255s, this is a 295, this is a 255. You can see the tread pattern, the same. So I went on and picked up them Lexanis. I'm about to load up the wheels, go get them mounted. You can see the difference. For us, the size, the height difference, with the width. And also this 295 look a little thicker than this 255. But all in the same series, the LX30s. 255 30R26s. 295 30ZR26s. Well, that's the ZR26 too. But I'm gonna try to move some of this stuff out of the way. It's panoramic. Get the wheels out. Go get them mounted. Then we'll do a test fit on the old OBS. Still haven't cleaned it up but I'll probably clean it up before I mount the wheels on. All right, let me uh, get these wheels in here. We all loaded up. I've got one of the tires riding shotgun with me. The tires mounted on the back wheels. He doing the front now. Looking good, looking good. He airing up the front over there now. Got this one here left. They done balanced them as well. Like that big lip. bad as I thought it was going to be for us stretching this tire on here. A lot of folks don't want to deal with these size wheels. They're getting it together though. Back at the shop. Wheels and tires all mounted up. I'm going to do a test fit. It's going to be the same video, but I'm not going to do it today because I got to run home and do some work. But y'all stay tuned. Just gonna be a few seconds because you know the power of video and YouTube. Three seconds, I'll have y'all back on and we gonna be test fitting. Several months later. It's been about, I say, over a year since I put the wheels, got the tires mounted. I'm finally gonna uh, test fit the wheels so I can figure out how much I gotta cut off the rear end. And I got my main man over here. Y'all know what it is, man. It's raw customs, you know what I'm saying? You look me on raw customs 5959. You know what I'm saying? Check your boy out, comment, subscribe. You know, go to TikTok, look up raw customs one. Follow on TikTok. Okay, we made it to the spot. Here's the front wheel. You can see it's been sitting up. Need cleaning. Rob got the other one out here. He got the cap on that one. It ain't even floating. <laughs> it ain't floating. Nah, it's just... There you go. There it is. It dust. 
in this fence soon enough. <laughs> then we'll put the back on. We know the front gonna work, but the back gonna be sticking out too far. So we got our tape measure. We're gonna get some measurements. Cause I'm gonna order my re-end from Quick Performance. That's the main purpose of uh, test fitting today. Which I should have did it a year ago, but I hadn't even started on the truck, y'all can see. So we're gonna get it jacked up and need front wheels on. We got this side, well, we got the front on. I'm working on this side over here now. What you think about it, bro? That's looking good. How the old OBS looking now? Looking good now. Just with, <laughs> Just with the wheels. Oh yeah, you know wheels make everything. Remember back in our day, that's how we used to do it. Put some rims on it. Call it a day. Yeah, call it a day. <laughs> but we're a long way from that now. Yeah. But these, these are the lug nuts I'm using. Cause if y'all can see, it ain't that much uh, thread on the studs, but I'm gonna get some longer studs. But I got these lug nuts here. Got a little more thread on the back side. Let me put this cap on, then we'll go to the back. Y'all see these drums here? I'm gonna give y'all a sneak peek of what I'm gonna have behind these wheels here. At the end of the video, so y'all stay tuned. Cut y'all back on. We're all dropping it down. We're gonna see what she look like. Y'all can see that poke. That's what I was talking about. That 26 by 12 wheel. You got it sticking out like that. You gotta see how much I'm gonna cut off. Well, when I get my uh, rear built, see how much I'm gonna need to cut off. I'm gonna guess he gonna have to go 12 off. What you think? Total? 12? Yeah. I right. think 6 because if you want to tuck up under this lip right here. Yeah. And you want the wheel to sit in there, then you want like that half inch clearance from that right there. That's 6 on each side. Yeah. That, that do you good. <laughs> I didn't say that do me good. <laughs> you can put the tape measure on there. <laughs> <laughs> Where the tape measure at? Oh, he's right there. I don't know now, you know, I don't know nothing about this part of the game, but you know, hey. I'm yeah, just, you know, common sense. Yeah. See, that's right there at the flush with it, with that lip on the inside. That's like five. Yeah, so uh, five. if you get you another, if you, you can I would get your five inch, and a half. Five and a half, six yeah, inches, you good. But the other side might be different, because you know. That's why you go ahead and lock right. that inch. You know you can't go wrong. I don't want to be, uh, but. I can always put a space on it though if it's in, in too far, but I don't want no space. Now bring bring the tape measure on this side. Let's see what this side looking like. This side five though, ain't it? Four and a half to five. That side there, a little different. That's a five. What is that? Okay, so that's a five. Let me see. Yeah, so that's why I say that six will do good. Shit, no, no, okay. I was looking at it wrong. Yeah, I was looking at it wrong. About 
This five. Is five, five, so you knock Yeah, I would say about five. So that'd be level. But, but I ain't using this red, so I ain't I ain't cutting nothing off of it. So I just need to know the length from end to end. But let me walk around, walk y'all around the truck right quick. The wheels dirty, but y'all get the picture. What's that? See, just so y'all know, right? For the ones that don't know, I'm like a leak channel, right? Raw customs leak channel for sprayway, right? So, by the time you see this vehicle on his video, <laughs> right? You're gonna already see it on my short, cause I'm gonna do a short right now today. So that means if this don't drop it to two months later, you don't be done yeah, calling first on saying. my channel. Just a glimpse of this right here. So that'll let you know what to expect in the upcoming of sprayway. Just a little teaser. Yeah, I know y'all probably wonder what happened to the bumper. I didn't do it. Just know that I didn't do it. <laughs> and I didn't do it either. He didn't do it either, but I think I need to put some air in this tire. Yeah, that tire there, low. Y'all get in the coming section. Let me know how many inches y'all think I need to take off. Force the factory re-in on the OBS. I think they gonna say 12. 12 total. Yeah, I think they're gonna say 12. Be on the safe side. Yeah. And and guess what? We cleaned up the OBS just for this video here. I never washed it as long as I had it. I just put a pressure wash on it. But y'all, hold on one second. I'm gonna go get the brakes and give you a sneak peek. Okay. We got some wheel wood. I got all this from Little Shop Manufacturing. Up in Tennessee, I got a, I got the front and back, all the same size. This is the rotor. I think the other stuff. Yeah. Right, right here. Yeah. See if I can take it out the package. Just giving you a sneak peek. Oh, what this is. Man, that's big, yeah. Oh yeah, no doubt. Oh, that's the hooks there. And t-shirt, brake pads, brake lines. Y'all see the name of that? That's the cow. Look at the size of that thing. Man, that's big. What y'all think? Sneak peek. That thing is big. Y'all stay tuned. I got plenty more.